uh, one thing I want to say is it's not easy. You have to uh, you have to put time into it. Whatever you're doing, YouTube or something, you might have to put time into it. It's not easy, but I want to give you guys a message, all of you. You can do it. It's just not going to be easy. Good things don't come right out of the boxes, as I might say. recently had the privilege of interviewing a young girl who is born visually impaired and is making a big difference in the world around. This young girl's name is Abby. She is one of the kindest people I've ever met and is passionate about creating instructional videos to help other visually impaired people and to help people understand what it's like to live visually impaired for those who aren't. Show her some love by watching this video to the end and make sure to check out her on YouTube at Through the Eyes of Abby. Now, let's get into it. Hi guys, I'm Ethan O'Dell from Kids Power and today I'll be interviewing Abby Waltz. Now, Abby, can you tell me a bit about your story? Like what's the city you live in? How old are you? What grade are you in? So uh, I live in Kitchener and um, I'm 10 years old and in grade five, and I was blind at birth. My parents didn't know at first, and it was kind of stressful because it is hard when you have a child and then you just find out they're blind like six months later. But um, it, it, it turned out to be all good, so I'm really glad about that. So I've seen that you've posted over 20 YouTube videos so far, which is great. How did the idea of starting through the eyes of Abby start? Well, um, so one day I was watching YouTube with my dad. I was uh, looking at uh, different YouTube channels um, that are hosted by people who are blind or visually impaired because you know I was interested. I wanted to see how many people and what they were doing. So I came across this YouTube channel that was called The Blind Life. So I started watching the videos and it turned out to be really good. So I commented, I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm visually impaired, you know, can you give me some tips for YouTubing? Because I was like, you know, maybe I will start a YouTube channel because if he's doing it, I can do it. So That's then important. he commented back and said, you know, here's some tips. And so we started the YouTube channel after considering all of them. And I posted my first video a few months later. Interesting. Sounds good. And I've heard about your story on CBC. That must have been pretty cool to be interviewed by them, right? Uh, yeah, how did it was. It, feel? Uh, it, it was. I was kind of nervous, to be honest. I had to, uh, had to, you know, prepare some. Uh, they sent me some questions to review, and we called in over the phone, and I had. You know, I had the interview. I was nervous at first, but uh, then, you know, once I got into the interview, I started feeling a bit better. So it's pretty cool to be interviewed by them because, uh, I have, as, as I said before, I haven't had a lot of interviews, but um, that was my first interview, and I felt pretty good about it. Nice. It's not easy to always talk on camera. I get nervous doing it myself, but you seem confident and natural at doing this. So do you do any practice or does it actually just come naturally? Well, uh, for some videos, um, it came naturally, but for some videos I had to make notes. For um, my first video, I didn't have any notes or anything. It just came uh, naturally. But um, for some videos I did make notes. I did write out some notes, um, but uh, for most of my videos, yeah, it it's just comes natural to, natural to me. It's a good skill to have. In your videos, I've seen you demonstrate how to use assist assistive devices like the Braille Note Touch in your cane. Can you tell us a bit about the assistance devices you use and do you, did you have an instructor to help you with it? Well, I do have a few instructors, yes. I have um, mm -hmm. uh, Jeanette Dudley for um, O&M. Uh, orientation and mobility, and um, she helped me learn cane skills and uh, how to travel using a cane, so that really helped out, and mm -hmm. uh, I had David from ATS, I believe, um, 
who helped me with uh, learning my Braille note touch from the start. I used it at school first, and then I ordered it. But uh, through COVID, David couldn't uh, come, so um, we I just basically taught myself the I got the basics down, but then I taught myself the more uh, complex stuff. Impressive. And I'm not sure how or if you would like to demonstrate sending a short email to me. Is it possible for you to show us? Um. Yeah, I, I have you in my contact, so I'll just uh, tell my parents and they can help me get it situated. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen perfectly. Okay, it's good. So I'm going to uh, unlock my brown note touch now. I'm going to turn the speech on so you can hear what they're uh, saying. Can you hear it okay? Yep. Unlock. Okay, that's good. I'm going to unlock it, and as you can see, we are in the main menu. So I'm going to go to my email with uh, hitting enter, which is uh, .8, as some of you might already know. So I'm going to select new message here in the menu. Again, enter is .8. Now we are going to go to select recipient, as I just said. Um, now, I could go uh, use some keys to go, go down my contacts list to uh, your contact, but I can use something called first letter navigation, so I'm going to take E for Ethan. Uh, that's a contact I have. Um, Ethan Woodell, okay. Uh, now we hit dot eight, which is enter on this. So as you can see, it fills the edit box with the address. So now... Uh, we are going to go down to subject, and we are going to type something. I'm just going to type test. Yep, okay. Now we are going to um, go to compose and hit enter. Now we are going to do hi. And then we are going to say Ethan. So... We're going to do a new line, enter, enter, which when you're in a mode, it does uh, new lines. So now we're going to type, this is, uh, this is a good example of editing, actually. I put a capital where there is uh, not supposed to be a capital. So what you do is you put your cursor on the word that you want to delete something from. In this case, it's the I, and you hit dot seven which is delete in edit mode so and then we just space over and it's edited okay anyway now we're going to click a test this is a test email. okay um so it says this is a test email and what we're going to do is now i just want to show you a little feature uh, it might not pick up any misspelled words but i want to show you spell check really quickly so there is no misspelled word so as you can see there's a message on my screen that says it's a spell checker and that there's no misspelled word so uh i just wanted to show you guys the spell checker okay now we're going to hit okay and now you do backspace with S to send the message, and it says send this message, and then it's a cancel, okay. So if you wanted to cancel, it would send you back to the edit box, but if you hit okay, which I'm going to do, it will send a message, so I'm going to hit okay. Okay, and as you can see, it says sending message, and then it's new message, so it takes you back to the email edit box when the email, the key mail menu, or when you, um, when you send the message, or if anything's send reply to something in your inbox it'll take you back to the web view so that was just a quick demonstration of doing emailing so uh that was my demonstration i hope you hope you all enjoyed that <laughs> that was interesting i learned a lot from that thanks i think your videos help people uh understand how someone with visually impairment lives but it also must be inspiring to kids around the world who have visual impairment. Are your YouTube videos made for people with and without visual impairment? Well, yes, because I do have videos that are for the visually impaired, like uh, tech videos and um, <laughs> the 
Uh, actually, not the cooking one, although it is a demonstration. Some video, most of my videos are for both um, visual and um, visually impaired people, yes. Great. Um, How much time do you spend on your videos, like, in a month? I would say 15 to 20 hours with the editing and filming, because my dad does the editing and it takes a long time. And sometimes I have to do, well, most of the time I have to do reshoots. So uh, that builds up to a lot of time. So I'd say, yeah, again, 15 to 20 hours. That, that is a lot of time. I've heard you're trying to push to get 1,000 YouTube subscribers, right? Yeah. You're pretty close to that. Did you think you'd grow as quickly as you have? Well, yeah, that's kind of what was expected because when I started the YouTube channel, I talked about what viewers would want to see and I've done all that. So I was expecting it to uh, grow about as fast as it did, maybe a bit quicker, maybe a bit slower, but uh, it's, it's around what's expected. Yeah. Wow. Um, can you tell us about your online store? I heard you even put your grandma to work there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can you show us some things that are in the store and where the money goes? Well, um, first the uh, money would go to the, um, half would go to the uh, guide dog program with CNIB, uh, shout out to them. Um, anyway, um, and the other half would go to my assistive devices. And um, I can't really show you my uh, store right now, but I'll tell you about a few things that I have on it. I have a, uh, some creatures mm -hmm. on it, like some clay creatures and some masks, which my grandma makes. So uh, that's basically what I have in my store. And I just want to say, I hope all you uh, people that go check it out, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I've seen actually one of your uh, videos where you make creatures and I thought, I thought you did pretty good on it. Nice. How can Thanks. people find your store? Well, um, uh, through the uh, shop dot through the other Abbey dot com is the um, search result for my uh, store. It's all about through the eyes of Abbey in the name. So uh, shop dot through the eyes of Abbey dot com. If you go to that, like I'm sure you could find it on Google Chrome or any other website, but uh, you can find that uh, there, and uh, that's how you get to my store, basically. Awesome. What are some of your favorite things to do when you're not working on your YouTube channel? Well, um, I I like to uh, listen to audiobooks, read some books. I like to, uh, uh, well, I, I used to jump on my trampoline outside when it wasn't winter. Um, mm -hmm. I I um, like making clay creatures. Um, I do videos, which is part of my YouTube channel. Um, yeah. I, and I like having, I like talking to my friends and having virtual play calls with them. Nice. Actually, that's great. What dreams do you have for your future? Well, I hope to grow my YouTube channel and reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers, or I hope I get more than that, uh, to be honest, you know. Uh, and I want to uh, grow my YouTube channel and uh, make a little money off of it and uh, get uh, more popular and get to be a bigger YouTuber. You're a great inspiration to me, and I'm sure to other kids who find your channel. What advice do you have for other kids who are thinking about getting started at pursuing their own passion? And just by the way, this can be anything. Yeah, so um, one thing I want to say is it's not easy. You have, to, uh, you have to put time into it, whatever you're doing, YouTube or something. You might have to put time into it. It's not easy, but I want to give you guys a message all out there. You can do it. It's just not going to be easy. Good things. Don't come right out of the boxes, as I might say. Yeah, it's good advice. Because, you know, worse always, or usually, comes before good. Yet, you can get a great reward. How can yeah. people find you online? And is there anything else you would like people to know about what you're doing? Well, I have... Um, I have linked to my uh, YouTube in a document that um, I've actually sent you. So um, YouTube, uh, you search for Through the Eyes of Abby. Uh, that should come up. Um, I have a Facebook page. Um, I'm not sure, but there's a link for that. Uh, again, online store, shop.throughtheeyesofabby.com. Awesome. That's great. Uh, is, is there anything you want to say? 
Yeah, thanks for coming out here. And you guys, you heard her. Go subscribe through the eyes of Abby on YouTube. And I haven't quite memorized the rest of her channels yet, but I'm sure I'll check them out. So you better as well. Thanks for coming out here. Yeah. You really did great. Thanks.